scene 13 point mockingbird lane hey y'all artist boy girl here also known as apg jamie hey let's make something out of this can okay um yeah this is just a little um tomato paste can and i'm going to paint over it with ah! um oh my goodness hmm so, uh, again, I'm going to, well, I didn't say it the first time. But anyway, I'm going to paint over it with um, this here uh, white gesso. And now I'm going to use this uh, on the edge die to die cut out a piece of um, corrugated cardboard. And I'm going to paint it this her uh, navy blue. Could have painted it any color, but... Uh, um, oh, oh my, it looks like a paint bugger. <laughs> oh, ew. Yeah, so there I am painting that uh, cut out on the edge uh, townscape. Hey, gun, Paula. Uh, Y'all have to excuse the neighbors there. I don't I don't know what they're doing. They're arguing again or something. No! Oh! Holy smokes. Anyway, so I wanted some little grass at the bottom, you know, to make it look like it was grass. So I painted it green. Well, a couple different greens. And uh, I think my video is going much faster than my head is. I just don't know what's going on. Oh, my gosh. Paula. And there's my uh, white gessoed can. And uh, I'm going to paint uh, two different uh, yellow, orangey colors. Uh, man, I don't know what's up with those neighbors. Kinda, yeah. So, anyway, let's just uh, paint this white can up. And you need to not go over it too much or too too much. Too much or too much? Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. More too much. Uh, because the uh, the paint will pull off of the metal because it's not metal paint. Oh, and here's a couple of circles I took. Uh, some cereal box, chipboard, whatever. And I uh, glued two together, poked a hoe in it with a crop of dial, and then I have a third one there that I'm going to glue on in a second after uh, I put my wires through the little hole because I want my little wires to be kind of like free floating, a little springy like. Um, and I curled up the ends because I'm going to be uh, attaching some words to that and um, that just kind of will allow my uh, cardstock to uh, more better grip it. So yeah. And there I'm showing you. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of clear tape on there to hold those in place more or less. And I guess I could have sped this part up. Because... Oh, crud. It sounds like their dog got out again. I don't know about those... Oh! That didn't sound so good. So, anyway. Oh, goodness gracious. Holy. Hang on just a second. Will y'all shut up over there? Sorry. I hope I didn't blow your eardrums out. I know I could have done a different voiceover, but. Musical interlude. Must be time for a musical interlude. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's a bone folder, y'all. Oh, my gosh, it's a bone folder. Y'all knew that were coming. We're coming. Y'all knew that was coming. Bone folder. Aileen's tacky glue. Y'all knew that was coming, too. Anyway, that uh, bone folder. Not a real bone. It resembles one. So there I'm smeared down my uh, Aileen's tacky glue and trimming off a little bit of that tape it's poking. Oh, bone folder. Ooh. 
almost Halloween-ish even. But really, this is a project um, that you can do any time of the year. And uh, I just kind of made the video to go along with the Halloween-y. And there is a folded piece of cardstock. I'm going to put my uh, punch on there so that it actually stays as one piece. Oh, there we go. See? Ta-da! And I'm pointing around. You just ink around the edges. And then you stamp, stamp, stamp. And uh, then you just take it and wrap it around your little wire um, spiral doohickey on the end with some alien tacky glue. Of course. See? alien tacky glue. And uh, there, oh, see, there's one of my words, the word yes. Yes. And I smashed it on there. Yes, I did. Yes, it is on there. And now I'm taking uh, some washi tape. I'm just going to draw a circle from the inside. Look at that cute owl washi tape. I got that from the Joann's for like a dollar eighty the other day. Whatever day that was. Could have been last week or two months ago. Who knows? Anyway, I drew my circle and now I'm going to paint uh, the circle. Oh, hi, y'all. Ah, it's my head. Um, I'm going to paint the um, circle with some more uh, white gesso because I think it's going to be a moon. I'm pretty sure. Well, it's going to be sort of a moon. Yeah. Making a moon. Oh, yeah. And other eerie sounds of your choice. Musical interlude. You're not coming out alive. Oh my gosh! They're not coming out alive. Musical interlude. Yeah. So, um, what are you saying? And, um, Sure, it's taking me a long time to paint that moon. Oh, but you really... Oh, there we go. Y'all couldn't see it. And, uh, been busy. And, uh, yeah. Two dogs are, like, worse than children. I mean, the kids, you can just feed and send them to bed. But these dogs, they just want petting and grooming and bathing and... Holy smokes. And they act just like a couple of children. He's on my side. She's looking at me. Yeah. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah. It's my bone. No, it's my bone. So there's my uh, townscape all painted up. And I'm going to attach it to the uh, now painted can with Aileen's tacky glue. Because y'all know that's some good stuff. Oh, there, just bam a lamb. There I am gluing it on. Look at that. And just going to roll it around. Oh, somebody needs to put some oil on that can. Cheap! And, um, holy cow, how loud is those, that door? I have to ask Johnny to put some oil on there. Well, I'll probably be the one putting the oil on it, but that's okay. I'm the one with the oil can. Oil can. Oil can. I mean, tomato paste can. Tomato paste can. Heat gun. Voila. It's dried all that. It's right from the inside. We you know when you heat up the inside of that can, it tastes, it smells just like tomato paste. There's that bone folder. Just smash it, smash it. And smash it some more. Roll it around. Yeah, it feels pretty good and stuck. What's next? Oh, here's some uh, glow-in-the-dark paint. I have no idea if it's actually going to glow in the dark because I've had that bottle of paint for quite some time. Oh, did y'all see my brush holder can thing? So I'm just painting inside the windows. I'm going to leave the doors, I don't know, just plain yellow. I'm just putting the, the glow in the dark inside the windows. I don't know if it's going to work, y'all. It's not dark yet. It's not even dark 30 yet. 
so uh, I don't think you're even going to get a picture of it. Yeah. Ooh, all these eyeballs I've had for years. Well, they're not eyeballs. They're googly eyes. I've had them forever. And some of y'all have probably gotten a few off and on throughout the years. And uh, look, I found something to do with these uh, googly eyes. Yes, with the alien's glue. You know it. And I'm going to be putting the eyeballs on the uh, on the can. All up uh, over the houses there. Oops, drop that one. Pick it out. There we go. Wipe the glue off. And we just keep doing this um, till we pretty much get sick of it. And after I did this size one, I had I used a smaller size one, and I put on some smaller googly eyes. Kind of like filled in some of the gaps, but not really filled the whole thing totally in. So, yeah. You know, it kind of goes that way. Oh my gosh! It's floating here. And there we are, back at the eyeball scene. And need some more. Googly eyes. Goo, goo, googly eyes. At least it's not eye by eyeball pool. Right, Joyceage? That's your game. So, uh, gosh, those neighbors. Holy cows. I don't know what's up with them. So, um, yeah. Oh, gosh. I don't know what they're beating on now. Probably each other again. Somebody needs to call the Popo. And, uh, yeah. That's about it for that size eye, I guess. And then I went and put the little small ones on. I didn't show you that part because you can figure out how to glue them on. And there is my finished can. It's an eye can, y'all. Yeah. An eye can. Because, yes, I can. You can, too. It's an eye can. Do you get it? Come on, y'all. Don't you get it? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Musical interlude. Musical interlude. Thanks for watching. And uh, happy art, y'all.